I want to take this time to congratulate you for taking the first step to creating the perfect development environment. In this series, we'll cover local environments, cloud environments, and virtual environments. We'll look at different text editors, different operating systems, and how to use these tools within each of these operating systems. This series can be both applied to beginners, intermediate, or advanced programmers. So depending on what stage of your career you're in, some of these videos might be more appealing than others. For beginners, I recommend you to check out the local environment setup to sh and that show you how you can actually start programming right away with the tools that you already have. If you're more of an intermediate and advanced programmer, I'll recommend you to check out virtualization and cloud computing and see how those apply specifically for your development environment. Again, I cover a lot of information here. There's over 70 videos, and depending on what your specific requirements are, some of these videos might be more appealing than others. We look at different text editors such as VI, Vim, Atom, Brackets, and Sublime Text. And I show you what some of the positives are for each of these text editors. I even go in detail showing you some of my favorite plugins that I use. We also cover some of the most common automation tasks that you might have to use with the command line. I show you how you can work with aliases and host files with your specific operating system. So if you ever had had any trouble setting up some of your new team members when they come up, uh, upon your team, or if you actually enter a new team, if you become a new team member of a different team, some of these tools might be more important than others. Again, this series was a lot of fun to put together, lots of information I cover, and most importantly, I show you how you can set up your perfect development environment. Because remember, my perfect development environment is not gonna be your perfect development environment. And your development environment is gonna be as unique as you. So I want you to understand that. And, and, I, and I really go in detail in some of the videos specifically how uh, you can actually set up your perfect development environment, and how to always some of the positives and negatives of each of these tools. Because remember, it is just a tool and that tool is specifically designed to help you create your different product, make you more productive or make you more efficient with your current workflows that you develop for specifically your setup. Again, it was a lot of fun creating this series and hopefully you get some value out of it. So let's go over to my computer and we'll gather some of the requirements that we're actually gonna need before we get started. 